Hi there, everyone, and this is your January 2021 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. First and fo- foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy new year. And it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of 2021 be your best year ever filled with much love happiness and great joy much better than how it was last year of course now to celebrate this um starting this year of 2021 for the month of january i am doing a very um highly detailed and in-depth reading for each and every every signs out there basically wherein i am doing a combination of the tarot uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time so you know we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021 as I believe that every January it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year so um if you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re- really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time so don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more so um yeah without any further ado let's just get started okay so this reading goes through all of you guys who are in the sign of cancer sun moon and rising signs so please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every cancer people out there so just keep that in mind and um so yeah i would say that this can be very detailed and very specific and i would suggest that when it comes to general readings like this to to actually use your own intuition um as your own guidance whether you know this message is really talking about you into your own situation so take everything with a grain of salt so um yeah let's start for cancers uh over here let me see uh, the first card of the reading we have here the sun card along with the eight of wands so this is really a vibrant energy so this is like telling us that there is some form of emotions that suddenly entered the scene um the moment that you know you entered uh, january 2021 so there's a sudden emotions that has occurred for you and it is crossed over by the four of wands and the nine of swords now this can actually tell us that you know maybe there is um there is a form of nervousness anxiousness in terms of a relationship situation maybe um because we have here with the third card i always uh give emphasis on the third position of the reading because it gives us the the core issue of what you are focusing right now and this is the lover's card and the seven of wands so with this in mind it gives me a feeling wherein there could be some form of a challenging situation that you might be undergoing or you could be you know um, fighting your way into making a decision over a relationship so 
there is something that you are thinking about. There is something that you are, are probably deliberating when it comes to a relationship situation. And, you know, you might, a lot of emotions might be getting the best out of you regarding this so there is a decision that you need to to decide maybe you are getting overwhelmed over something when it comes to your love life and relationships all at the same time that is the basic energy that we are picking up over here um, it doesn't always have to be negative this could be a situation wherein maybe you're being anxious or um overly assuming of certain things about a relationship whenever the lover's card comes up in a reading i always see this as a point of um, a person about to make a decision especially with the seven of wands the seven of wands is really more of a situation we're in do i do i fight for things or do i protect myself it has that form of energy so regardless on what really is going on into your relationship i kind of feel that this is not just about you feeling things and this is not about romantic endeavors i kind of feel that this is a situation we're in you are thinking of what the future will be like in terms of your uh, personal relationships right now, especially in terms of your love life. So the next card over here, we have the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is the situation of your past. So there could be something that has disappointed you or of some form of frustration has occurred in the recent past. And that might be the reason why you are, you know, feeling like this. Like you are feeling that you need to change something in your life. You need to change um um you need to create some form of changes in terms of your love life and relationships because of some form of disappointments it doesn't have to be that the other person disappointed you this could be your own frustrations like you you might be questioning why you are not happy or maybe there are a, some form of burdens happening for you in a very personal level that is you know giving you a lot of mental trouble you know there's a lot of things that you are thinking about right now over here we have the king of pentacles and the queen of wands so I, it gives me a feeling we're in you know you are at the point of your life we're in i want to be happy i want to do things that can give me some form of freedom uh, i want someone to take care of me to love me as i am but at the same time being able to truly love myself as well so this is a situation wherein this is not not about you completely focusing on caring for for your loved ones this is about you having the desire to and having the desire to love yourself and questioning uh, what about me? You know, you are, you know, having this question that, okay, I'm taking care of other people. I love, I love doing this. It's not that, it's not as if I'm complaining, but I also, you know, want to feel certain things. I also want to experience certain things. And I also want to love myself, you know. I also want to receive something, you know. It's not really all about giving now. This is about you wanting to have a form of emotional security, emotional fulfillment in your life all at the same time, which I think you really deserve as well, you know. You know, a lot of cancer people are really more of the loving side. They're very, they're very loving. They love taking care of people. But most of the time, they fail. It's not as if they fail, but they tend to not really give emphasis about their own self. You know, they they forget that they they are worth loving as well. You know, they they forget or they they take things for granted the things that are happening within them as an individual like they're so busy with taking care of other people that they don't really take care of their own self so you are in that position wherein you really don't want to deal with um other people too much you know the drama that other people are causing you but you are at the point of your life where you want to make a decision you want to do things that 
benefits you, you know, uh, making a decision not for the sake of other people, but making a decision because it is something that you have always wanted to do. It is something that you you really, really want, you really, really desire. So that's really, you know, the main focusing energy that we are getting over here. In the near future, we are seeing here the Two of Swords and the Page of Cups. So this is a point wherein maybe, you know, um, the questioning and all that will eventually go to a point wherein a choice needs to occur or you might be thinking about certain things. Um, this can end up with a point wherein you need to reflect on certain things you really need there's something that you really need to think about when it comes to uh, a love situation it could also be a situation about loving yourself you know you are coming to a point wherein you need to it's like you are trying to acknowledge that you know what how you have been handling things in the past needs some form of uh reformation i would say something needs to change and whenever the two of swords comes up you know we are not really seeing a point of action but this is about you um you know maybe taking on a list you know th list uh, making a bucket list of what you wanted to do um it's not telling us that if you are gonna do it but it's telling us that you know these are the things that i want to achieve and is about you finding solutions on what you can do to be a lot more happier, you know, to find a solution that is beneficial, uh, not not just for the other people, but for you yourself all at the same time. With the Page of Cups, this can be, you know, you might be seeing this in a very positive light as well, that uh, it could be a situation wherein you believe that you really need uh, you really need to do this, you know, and you are not in a in a point of confusion. It's not really about confusion, but this is something that you are going to pursue uh, because you feel that it is the right time to do so. So, like I said, we have here the hangman and the judgment card. This is about you, you know, like I said earlier, this is about the situation we're in, you know, after so much contemplation, you are going to make a decision uh, from a long term of reflection that is going to be beneficial for your own self. You know that you need to make a change because of uh, a lot of dr dramatic situation, especially when we have here the nine of swords and the hangman all together you know that something is going on you know that emotionally things might be unstable but at the same time uh you know it's like creating changes but it happens in a very slow pace way and it's not just about creating changes in the relationship itself it's like it's like a situation wherein you try to change something inside of you in a very personal level Maybe your it could be something to, to do with your personality, something to do with your habits or your own attitude that actually affects the relationship later on. So it's not really about directly making a change in the relationship, but it's really more internal. It's really more on the foundation of, of a person in itself. So that's really what we are picking up over here. So... And this is going to create uh, a best or better version of you, and which will be, uh, which will eventually be, very beneficial and very good for the relationship. All at the same time, you know, especially if you feel that you have been in a mess recently, you know, doesn't mean that you are in a crazy situation. It could be that you know you might feel that. Um, emotionally you you feel very confused and all of that you know this is a good time to 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 put a reset button and to try to maybe detox or do something uh practice of a positive habit uh throughout the entire course of a of your relationship you know doing something for yourself in a very positive way that can benefit um you yourself in the relationship in the long run basically we have the justice card over here 
along with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a point wherein you're not just being patient. You're not just being understanding. You're not being a doormat, basically. You are fighting for your own self. You're doing something that really makes you happy, that will make you happy. But all at the same time, being able to stay loving and under, an understanding of other people all at the same time. So there is like a tame factor here, so which is very positive. Over here, uh, there could be a reasoning here wherein you are so fed up with taking care of other people, um, not in a, uh, not. I'm not saying this that you don't want to take care of other people. You just don't want to deal with the negativity anymore. You know, you don't want to deal uh, with the negative influences that might be happening in your situation it might be happening in your love life and it doesn't have to be in your love life as a whole this could be that about you breaking away from negative patterns it could be something to do with your self-limiting beliefs and all of that as, as well or negative emotions that you might be having with this relationship you might be wanting to do something about that so that you can start afresh start a clean slate into your love life and relationships now overall we have here the seven of cups along with the devil card so this could be you know an element wherein there could be some form of you know so many things going on like there could be confusion um, and uh, there's a mixture of desire going into the surface of things like I want to do this, I want to do that. Um, there could be an element wherein may, you might be contradicting yourself like I don't want to take care of you but I really want to. I just don't want to take care of the negative aspects of certain things. So this could be, you know, um, there could be an element here mix of frustration um, and you might feel depressed. Uh, I'm not going to deny that. There is a tendency here that, you know, um, some form of mental anxiety can cover or, or can be experienced as whole but it is all part of the process so that you will be able to to make a decision not just for other people but for yourself because that is really the main point of the reading this time around for a lot of cancer people out there this is about you um fighting for your own right and you know fighting for your own self you know this is not just about you always thinking of the other person's benefit this is not just about you thinking about what is going to be good for other people or for the relationships or what will other people think this is about you really um really making a decision for yourself to remove all of these negative energies you to remove all of the the things that is not making you happy anymore so you are going to do something about that and um, if you are in a relationship wherein there is some form of stagnancy nothing happening no movement whatsoever you are going to come to realize that this is the month wherein changes is going to happen there is going to be some form of movement in terms of your relationships may it be a positive way or a negative way um the way that I'm seeing here is that you are going to make a, a decision that is that is going to be giving you some form of freedom, you know, uh, freedom to be able to express your own feelings and freedom not to reject your own self all at the same time. So, so yeah, this is uh, going to be a time of of growth, emotional growth for you. And even though um, we do see some form of um, balancing energy into the situation, it takes a lot of work. Like, I kind of feel that, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that you need to overcome uh, for this month. And it's not a point of pure challenge because you know yourself that something has to change and that is really the the basic idea that we are have over here this is a, you know a relationship situation uh whether you're single in a relationship or marriage 
it could be a complicated situation wherein uh, the basic idea here is that something is wrong with the give and take of a relationship. Who is giving more? Who is taking more? You know, we know that there is something that's not balanced in the relationship, that something is not healthy in the relationship. So this is about you finding your way to rebalance that, to bring harmony back into the relationship and not just for the sake of other people but most importantly to what is really happening inside of you as a person as a whole so um yeah we're that's what we are seeing now um going over to the lenormand cards what we have over here is the ring card and the book which is about, you know, you might be finding out something about a relationship or a contract. And then we have here the ship card and the, the bouquet card, which has a lot to do with um, some form of wish and desire. And then changes with communication. Maybe the way you guys talk to each other might not be the best match or something is really some form of change really needs to occur and then um or some form of conversation needs to to have some form of movement now we have here the the rider card in the mountain really telling us that there could be um message delays or message that has been blocked or problematic news might come or uh yeah so uh over here we have here the star card and the crossroads so this is basically telling me that there is something that you will come to realize when it when it comes to your love life and relationships and it could be an issue wherein, you know, it has a lot to do with how you guys treat each other. And, you know, it could be an, a situation wherein, you know, there could be delays or it could be uh, some form of delays um, one way or another is a big factor on, into the situation. It could be something that you should have done even in the past, but you did not do so. Or this could be a situation wherein, you know, um, an old situation comes up that you need to resolve, you know. Overall, it might have to do with the foundation of a relationship or with how you treat uh, someone in particular. Again, we have here the crossroads which is all about decision-making, handling two things at the same time. Um, and with the, the star card, um, you know, this is, you know, what you hope that you wanted to achieve, you know. Uh, maybe there is a clash with what's really happening in your heart and what is happening in your mind. Um, overall, though, a, a decision has to be done. A decision needs to, to occur. So... Again, uh, this could be a situation wherein, you know, something that you have tried to postpone in doing in the past, uh, you will be forced to, to do them right now, you know. You're trying to keep the status quo, but um, some form of change really needs to happen. And that's really what you will be um, experiencing this time around. So, um, yeah, uh, basically that is the reading for all of you cancer people out there. This is really a month wherein you really need to take a look on yourself. Really a time for you to have more self-love, to have time for yourself and stop paying attention with other people. I know you are a very loving person and you are all about taking care of others, but don't forget that you are also important and um, you need to take care of your own self and you need to make a decision that is also going to be beneficial for you. And, you know, it's really not about the other person all every each and every time. So that is something that you need to keep in mind. And also, this could be a time of decision making, <laughs> you know, um, that, uh, uh, sudden changes in terms of your relationship can happen and um for some people this is about um 
this can be about a one-sided love or this can also be about a situation that you really need to think about something, you know. You really need to think about something, something you, need, you really need to change some, something or um, you need to do something to change uh, the habits or patterns in a relationship setup. So, um, yeah, this is it for my reading for you cancer people out there. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity into your situation. If you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you again next month. Goodbye.